Hello, so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and reinstall your system software on the PS5 with using your ESP flash drive, and you do need one, guys. Without it, it doesn't work. So let's start off. So guys, the first thing what you want to do is you just want to get your ESP flash drive and just plug it in. And like I said, guys, it doesn't really matter which USB drive that you basically have. So now, once you did that, you just want to go over to your PC and you will get your USB flash drive like this. And like you see, guys, I already have some files on here. But what you want to do is if you already have some files on your USB flash drive, you want to just select them all and then just drag them onto your desktop over here. So that's how simple it basically is. And so let's just say that we have dragged our files and now they are secure. So what you want to do is you just want to right click just right click on your USB flash drive, go over to format, and then you just wanna go over to XFAT. So select XFAT over here, and then you wanna click on quick format, and you wanna start. So I will warn you guys, once you do format, all of your files on here will be lost. That's why I said guys, that you have to drag your files into your desktop, so you don't lose your files. So once you did it, guys, I'm not gonna do it on this USB drive. The reason why is I have another one that I plugged in. So like you see, this is also a USB one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click. I'm gonna show you guys again. You wanna go over to format. You wanna select on XFAT over here. And then you wanna go over to quick format and start. It will give you a warning like this. And like I give you guys, this will just delete all of your files on the USB drive. So let's do that. It says okay. Let's close this. Now it's basically formatted as a XFAT. And let's go back to here. You can also guys just go back and check out. So let's just check out on here. Let's go back to format. And if it says file system X fat, it means that it actually worked guys. And now let's go to step number two. So guys, what you want to do is you just want to open a Google Chrome or you can also open a internet browser. So once you do that guys, you just want to search up PlayStation reinstall software. So guys, I searched up PlayStation reinstall. So you can also add just PlayStation 5 reinstall and it will just pop out. I also typed in English. The reason why basically is I live in Belgium and it gives me another language once I search it up. So to order guys, to you can understand it. I just search it up like this. So once you click on the first one, let's go over here. You will get this like you see. And what you can basically do is you can download the PS5 update file or you can download the PS5 reinstallation file. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to the PS5 reinstallation file. And the PS5 update file, it's going to be on our video. So what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and click on here. It will give maybe a download thing in the bottom let's see so guys there was a problem with downloading the file so what happened was basically i tried it it doesn't work for some type of reason i just clicked on it and it didn't work so what i did was i just right clicked and then i went to the first option over here open with a new uh, tab so once i did that it actually worked so now it's actually downloading so if you also get that problem guys you just want to do what I did. Just go ahead and right click and just go open a new tab. And I also try to switch the languages maybe because I have like a different region. Maybe that's the reason why it didn't work. But that was not the case, guys. If you encounter this problem, just go ahead and right click and go to the first option over here. Once you click on here, it just works perfectly. So that's a little problem on PlayStation right now. And like you see, I opened a couple of Chrome tabs over here and it didn't work, but now it's downloading and let's go back when it actually downloads up. So guys, we basically got our file. Let me show you. I just dragged it into my desktop 
and over here what we want to do is we want to drag this into our usb but before we do that you want to right click first and you want to go over to new and then you want to go over to folder and just create any folder over here so once you do that guys you want to name it ps5 in big letters or capital letters so it's going to be a bit hard with one hand let me try it and it did work so let's click on enter so once you do that guys you're still not done yet what you want to do is you just want to double click okay once you are on here you want to make another file go to new go to folder and you want to name this update so let me do that update in capital letters guys update. here you go once you do that guys what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and drag this over here and by the way guys if you please go like and subscribe thank you so much it will actually help me out i can make more videos to help more people out with the support that i get thank you guys now guys let's just go ahead and plug our usb out so now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and plug it in into your ps5 and do it in the back of your ps5 guys because on the front you don't have a lot of space you're gonna have that one the usb-c cable just for a controller so plug it in in the back of your ps5 once you're done go ahead and close off your ps5 make it sure that it's closed off completely so let's go to the quick menu and close it off and make sure that there's no yellow lights guys don't go into rest mode so let me show you let's go for it to turn off ps5 and now what you want to do is you want to wait till the blinking over here is completely gone so like you see guys the blinking is completely gone now what you want to do is you want to go over to the power button over here you want to keep holding till you hear two beeps and by the way guys if please could like and subscribe thank you so much so now we heard the second beep and now it turned on now what we want to do is let's switch our hdmi it's just automatically switched there you go you will get this Like you see over here connect the controller using the usb cable and then press the ps button and this is actually safe mode like you see guys so you would just want to do exactly what it says just connect to your cable so guys so once you did it just press on the ps button and then you want to go down to reset ps5 reinstall system software so like it says guys it it's gonna basically reset your ps5 so guys let's just say that it didn't work out what you can also try out is for example get a fat32 format so like i showed you guys earlier on my video i showed you a xfat but you can also get a fat32 format on your usb drive so you can also try that one out and also guys if you cannot access safe modes you can also try something like plugging out your hdmi or something like that if you're using like a game capture card it's not going to work out so you just want to go ahead and plug out your game capture card and it will actually work out for you so that was actually a problem for me i had my game capture card on and for some type of reason i could not get into safe mode so you just want to make sure that it's directly connected with your tv or monitor and yeah that's basically it guys I hope you enjoyed it and please drop a like and subscribe if you want to add me i'm going to show you so let's get out of here and restart my ps5 here we go so yeah that's basically the video guys i hope you enjoyed it you can also add me here please drop a like and subscribe that will actually help me out so i can make more videos to help more people out so if you encounter more problems leave it in the comments down below and take care of yourself. Goodbye.